telescopes have allowed scientists and researchers to peer into the cosmos. In the last few decades alone, astronomers have made some amazing discoveries, some of which have answered some of the universe's biggest questions. Peering out into the endless expanse of the universe really shows us just how small and insignificant we are. Everyday massive astronomical events are unfolding that many of us are not aware of. However, researchers around the planet are able to pick up on these due to having access to powerful telescopes. These have given the world amazing photographs of space, and have allowed us to have a better understanding of how the universe works. NASA have managed to capture an incredible event out in the vastness of space. The researchers used the Chandra X-ray Observatory, the European Space Agency's XMM Newton and Optical Observations. This allowed them to look deep into space and observe two massive galactic clusters heading towards each other at incredible speeds. In fact, the team behind the study suggested the two clusters were moving towards each other at speeds exceeding 4 million miles per hour. NASA said the following about the event. This could be the most violent collision yet ever seen between two galaxy groups. As the holiday season approaches, people in the Northern Hemisphere will gather indoors to stay warm. In keeping with the season, astronomers have studied two groups of galaxies that are rushing towards each other and producing their own warmth. The researchers estimate the total mass contained in NGC 6338 is around 100 trillion times the mass of our Sun. This significant heft, roughly 83% of which is in the form of dark matter, 16% in the form of hot gas and 1% of stars, indicates that galaxy groups are destined to become a galaxy cluster in the future. The collision and merge will complete and the system will continue to accumulate more galaxies through gravity. The new Chandra and XMN Newton data also shows the gas to the left and right of the core cores, and in between them appears to have been heated by short fronts similar to the sonic booms created by supersonic aircrafts. This pattern of short heated gas has been predicted by computer simulations, but NGC 6338 may be the first merger of galaxy groups to clearly show it. Such heating will prevent some of the hot gas from cooling down to new stars. A second source of heat commonly found in groups and clusters of galaxies is energy provided by outbursts, and jets of high-speed particles generated by supermassive black holes. Currently, this source of heat appears to be inactive in NGC 6338, because there is no evidence for jets from supermassive black holes using the data. This absence may explain the filaments of cooling gas detected in X-ray, and optical data around the large galaxy in the centre of the cool cool in the south. A paper describing these results was published in the September 2019 issue of the Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Although the majority of these space discoveries are known by researchers, there are still some that have caused even the world's best researchers to question their very nature. One of these comes in the form of dark matter. When it comes to discussing the nature of the Milky Way and the formation of mass and energy within it, nothing seems to be more mysterious and unexplained than the very nature of dark matter. Despite all of the data gathered surrounding this strange and exotic matter, Scientists still have absolutely no idea what it really is. According to studies and calculations made by the world's best physicists analysing the movement of stars within our galaxy, they believe that dark matter makes up over 80% of the mass in the Milky Way galaxy. Unfortunately, these estimates may not be entirely accurate, as the only method at the time of this data gathering was to measure the movements of stars to estimate the amount of mass within the galaxy, leaving many unknowns and errors with the estimates. It was not until the National Aeronautics and Space Administration theorised that by using the Hubble Telescope's incredibly sharp imaging to map out the distribution of dark matter within the universe via gravitational lensing, they could get a much clearer image of the strange properties and mass clumps of dark matter as a whole. This gravitational lensing effect is accompanied by taking high detailed images of areas surrounding massive clusters of large supergalaxies, and identifying the areas of the image with warped backgrounds. These warped backgrounds are caused by large gravitational distortion, as a product of large densities of mass that begin to distort space-time and subsequently light itself. This technique allowed researchers to get a better understand of the properties of dark matter, and its effects on space-time, helping to confirm that there is five times more dark matter distributed evenly throughout the universe than there is matter itself. 
another celestial object that's shrouded in mystery is that of black holes. Although we know they're out there, we don't really know much about them. Although impossible to know for certain as to what's causing this strange disturbance, it's believed that a black hole the size of which has never been theorised exists at the centre of one of the largest gravitational wells to exist in our local galactic supercluster. Although many might be well aware of the large supermassive black hole at the centre of the Milky Way galaxy responsible for the movement of the entire spiral shaped galaxy of ours, many are completely unaware of what is known as the Great Attractor. The Great Attractor refers to an unknown space anomaly discovered at the centre of a supercluster. Unfortunately, scientists cannot explain or get better information regarding the Great Attractor, as it appears to be in the zone of avoidance of which means the majority of space there is completely obscured by the energy created by the Milky Way galaxy. However, gravitational measurements taken by the Hubble Space Telescope using gravitational lensing techniques shows the Great Attractor is not only pulling our own galaxy towards it, but all of the nearby galactic superclusters in our area. Although many scientific reports believe the majority of surrounding space to be moving away from us at increasing speeds, Many believe this might be tied to the gravitational force of the Great Attractor, pulling the majority of the galaxies around us into its impossible to understand gravitational well. This has caused scientists and computer simulation estimates to believe the Great Attractor is that of a supermassive black hole, and that it dwarfs the singularity at the distance of our galaxy by thousands of light years in distance. Information surrounding this theory is incredibly limited, however, by the zone of avoidance and it looks like scientists won't be able to truly give scientific insight as to the cause until the human race learns the ability to travel outside of the Milky Way galaxy to gather further information. How long has the universe existed? This is a question that even the greatest philosophers throughout the history of humanity believe to be impossible to answer. Fortunately enough with the advent of the modern age, it appears that the Hubble Space Telescope has helped to solve that very question. Although we are not yet able to see past the observable universe to get a better vision of the history of the universe, we have been able to detect some of the oldest known stars to have existed, and dated them to better understand the age of our universe more accurately than previous expansion equations could ever predict. According to the images taken back in 2002, the Hubble Space Telescope found the oldest white dwarf stars were roughly 12 to 13 billion years old. Given the fact it takes a rough billion years for these stars to form, this puts the predicted age of our universe at around 14 billion years old, matching up closely with previously held theories. Is our universe teeming with life? As of right now, science will tell you that humans have not made contact with life outside of this planet, but what's the likelihood of there being life outside of our planet? It's nearly impossible for astronomers to get accurate understandings of our universe as only a very small portion of it is visible to even the most state-of-the-art telescopes. Much of this invisibility comes from the absorption of photons hidden behind dense clouds of gas. The size of the telescope needed to capture small photons from great distances away as well as a number of other strange factors surrounding the nature of our universe that we have yet to understand. With this limit on technology, you can imagine the incredible surprise to astronomers when new data surfaced that showed the existence of more than several hundred million new planets, and these were discovered close to our galactic supercluster of which we had no idea ever existed. This discovery was due to one unexpected error in recent imaging that the Hubble Space Telescope finally got right. Hidden behind star clusters within our Milky Way's halo, there resided a dwarf galaxy only a short 30 million light years away. 15 times further away than that of the Andromeda Galaxy. This has caused scientists to estimate there's over 100 billion planets in the Milky Way Galaxy alone. Bear in mind astronomers have said there's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe. This puts the chance of there being life out there extremely high. The only issue we have is reaching other planets. With space being so vast, it could be thousands of years before we're able to successfully travel large distances through space. So what do you make of these incredible space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.